Hello all, um, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, um, you may have noticed last week that I had that fall, if you've watched that video. Um, it turns out that I tore all the tendons or the ligaments or whatever it was in my leg, in both knee and ankle. And um, I'm now having to, excuse me, I'm now having to walk with crutches. So um, it's a little bit difficult at the minute. So uh, my intention today should the sky clear up somewhat because it is absolutely awful is to go out with the camera and sort of photograph from the roadside and um, I, I have not researched this whatsoever I just haven't had the time and um, my idea is to go in the van and go down back to the A31 um, there is a junction just before where I stopped last week where you can turn off and go down a side road um, through a country lane I think um, and there should be some photography opportunities there but I, I want to stop the van get out the van walk no more than one or two steps away from the van and um, take some photographs from there and and um, what my intention then is is to share the what three words as to where I am um, now I'm not promising you that the photographs are going to be any good I, I can't do that because I simply have no idea where I'm going to go but um, I think it should produce some um, nice um, photographs. The problem is this sky, it is just white. Um, it's funny, every week it's the same. Um, Wednesday and Thursday this week, it was beautiful. Wednesday was boiling hot, I think it was 18 degrees. Um, and a blue sky uh, yesterday was a blue sky with some cloud which i thought would be nice for photography today but today of course it's just white there are like little light patches of blue breaking through the clouds but um, not enough <laughs> to make a photograph that interesting so any photograph would be a minimum amount of um, um sky in in them um so we're looking really for um some sort of woodland photography um on the a31 so yeah i did think about going up to funtington where i know there is a woodland there but that isn't really what i want to do i don't want to walk around the woodland because i just can't do that at the minute so i want to be able to drive around some form of circuit stop take a photograph share the what three words jump back in the van and repeat and keep going around doing that um until we find you know maybe one two three photographs i don't know but um, we will try that so yeah um, my apologies if it's not what you were expecting um, and, but it's all I can do this week um, so why else am I want to do I, I also want to talk about my camera bag I, that sounds a bit boring and, and I hate people that talk about camera bags but or do what's in my bag I can't stand those videos but um, I want to do one of my bag and the problems that I'm having with my bag and, and there isn't that many problems but it will become relevant in a couple of weeks time as to why I'm going to do that so yeah um yeah okay so thanks very much I, I'm I'm not quite ready yet I mean it's only was well, it's half past 10 in the morning it, it's not time to go yet I'm going to go later on this afternoon but um yeah I'll, I'll talk to you when I when I move all right guys thank you very much I'll talk to you later on today thank you very much and thanks for following me guys thank you hello everybody so it is um about now it is quarter to three in the afternoon so um when i started to do this it was considerably early i think i started at half past ten and um, it has rained it is really cold and it is damn right miserable with these clouds but I'm determined to go out we're going out um, I'm making my way now to the M27 where I will join the A31 and um, yeah at some point I'll pull in get the camera out and uh, take some photographs and when I take the photographs from where I stand not from the object from where I stand to take the photograph I will give you the what three words they will appear under the photograph so if you wanted to um, pop down to the same place and take a photograph then you're um, more than welcome to do so so yeah my apologies for the for the um, lack of content really there's not really a lot I can do the clouds look actually quite aggressive they, they they will give a bit of atmosphere to the photograph if I add it but um, 
being probably about trees and landscapes and stuff like that there's probably no need to um, enter those um, uh, clouds into the photographs I'm going to try and keep them out so yeah anyway when I get there I'll um, I'll say hello again thanks guys see you shortly well, yesterday didn't go quite as planned. Um, the idea of yesterday was to drive around Hampshire, look for places to stop, and take as many photographs as I could, and share the what three words with you. Um, yeah, unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, I went out for about two hours, and every time I found somewhere, I found that I was unable to stand up on my leg, um, even outside the van, and yeah, I just, I just couldn't do it. I'm really, really sorry. So uh, what I've done tonight is I've decided to come out to Porchester Castle. Now, it's about, like, if I was to throw a stone, I'd hit my house from here. I've parked the van about, oh, I don't know, 200 yards down the road there on the side. Um, and I've managed to walk up here with my walking stick. Um, and we're here for the sunset. Um, I will share the what three words down at the bottom here so you know where I'm actually standing. I can't remember what they're called right now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing it from here. Yesterday when I went home, I was absolutely gutted that I, I didn't stay out because the sky was absolutely stunning. You couldn't make it up. It was really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, I was sitting in front of the television absolutely moping with myself because I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't stand up. So yeah, I've decided not to do it that way. And all that big fuss yesterday, um, yeah, we're just gonna do Porchester Castle. And, uh, and and it's gonna be like two or three photographs for that I apologize. And um, yeah, we'll, st we'll still talk about my bag as well if we get time to do that. So um, Porchester Castle um, is uh, it's got the sun not directly behind it the sun is slightly to the right I mean the castle goes a lot more round round to the left than what where I'm pointing the camera but it's all about this sunset and hopefully the sky will change to like what it did yesterday so yeah all right let me see what I can do thanks I want to um, zoom in slightly um, what focal length am I at here they will ask so I'm at about 60 millimeters I'm at f 2.8 ISO 64 10 thousandths of a second with the two second timer on loving the shine of the light on the water with that Sun as it sets fantastic we're miles and miles away yet I don't know probably half an hour away from the Sun setting but hopefully these photographs will look quite nice so yeah I'll share that one now okay so my bag um, a couple of years ago we were walking through Heathrow Airport I think it was and I saw this low pro bag and I absolutely loved it and it was a bag I had to have then um, but at the airport it was far far too expensive as we all know they always are so uh, when we left the airport I went on to Amazon looked up low pro bags could not find the one that I wanted that I seen at the airport but I found that one, one oh, excuse me I found one that was very very similar to it and I bought it and I've now been using that for 18 months to two years and I've loved it if I'm honest however the problem with the bag has been that whenever I take it off my back and put it down on the ground to enable me to gain access to the contents of the bag the back of the bag has to lie on the ground so in obviously rainy conditions or when there's mildew or whatever on the ground and the bag gets wet I then put it back onto my back and I get absolutely soaked and it is absolutely doing my head in so I've decided to change my bag um, and I'm looking I'm looking everywhere uh, for a new bag so um, I want one that can hold two cameras about five or six lenses two tripods um, and that has a zip on the back so when I lie it down I lie it down on the front of the bag so I'm opening up the bag to gain access to the lenses so then when I put it back on my back doesn't get wet and I can put a cover over the bag to protect the front of it as well I hope that makes sense um, I am looking at all of them um, and KNF seem to be winning at the minute so yeah um, we will we will see we will see um, so yeah 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through that again when I find a bag. Um, yeah. Yeah, what can I say? Um, the bag itself has been a magnificent servant. I will always use it when it comes to holidays because it is small, it is the right size for when it goes into luggage on flights, etc. Unfortunately though, when it comes to going like the Lake District, the Peak District, reservoirs or wherever else I like to go, it's just the wrong bag. Um, so yeah, we will see what we can find. I hope that all makes sense. Um, low pro, you know, if you can hear this, Please take a look at your bags, put the zip so it's at the back. So when we take it off our backs, we unzip the back, as in the section of the bag that goes to the back of the body, um, enables us to get into our contacts. So when we put the bags back on our back, we don't get wet backs. Wet backs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, whinge over with. It's not a whinge. Like I said, I've really, really enjoyed this bag. But it's time to move on, I think, and um, we'll see what happens. All right, thanks, guys. Let's get back to the photography. Hope that makes sense. Talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, so the sun is a little bit lower. Um, I'm going to double stat this one. I'm going to take the meter reading for the castle. So I'm at... Oh, I'm going to go to F F11. No, F9. Um, yeah, F9. That looks quite good. It, the, the, the castle is going to look like it's shaded anyway, so it, it's not a big fuss. But F9, ISO 64, four hundredth of a second, two second timer on. That's that one. And now I'm going to do it for the sun. Okay, so F9. ISO 64, 1,250 of a second, two second timer, and that's that one done. And I'm gonna, what I always do when I do that, guys, is I put my hand in the front, take a dart one, and now I know that those two, we're gonna merge them together. All right, so I'll share that one with you. Um, the sun isn't that far away now from setting. I might actually try and see if I can get the um, long lens on as well, and see if I can get one of just this sun. Yeah, it looks fantastic. In fact, I do I need that. I might just... I'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> Here we go. We're at ISO 64, F9, 1,600th of a second. Um, I focused where the light has hit the water, so at the beginning of it, it's just going to be a square crop. Oh, I keep looking at this. Um, the, Z, the Z8, I've got to get used to it. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Little bit of cloud coming in from the right hand side. It's midway through the scene. Um, I might do it again when the cloud is more over. Yeah, nice. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I've moved the camera so that the tripod is over the wall um, to remove the wall from the front of the photograph. I, it doesn't really matter because but they're predominantly gonna be 16 by nine and I'm gonna remove that anyway, but I just like the idea that, yeah, I wanna, sorry guys. I just like the idea that it's not gonna be in when I take the photograph. Um, so I'm again, I'm focusing on the castle. Um, yeah, that's nice. So ISO 64, F9, 80, 800th of a second, lovely shot. Yeah, so I just think this looks better for the shots. All right, I'll share that one, thanks. So the sun is getting really close to the horizon. It is dropping really, really quick now. And um, yeah, she looks great. She looks absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I'm taking it so I'm just cropped in, there we go. So there's a little bit of space between the castle itself um, and the frame of the photograph. And so that the, the sun is on the right hand third of the photograph. Um, I'm gonna go F11 now. Um, yeah, I wanna sort of slow it down a little bit. So there we go, F11, ISO 64, um, 500th of a no, we're gonna go 400th of a second, two second timer. Lovely, 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 lovely. Yeah, I think that looks all right. Hopefully it looks all right. I'll share that now, thanks. Oh, I just did a little bit for um, TikTok, a little bit of a video for TikTok, so. Um, 
yeah I don't have many people following if you want to look at that I'll, I'll put down my I think it's at Paul W Baker or at Paul W Baker photography um, on TikTok as well but um, yeah I, I don't really know how to use it if I'm honest <laughs> but it's good fun anyway um, so the sun is going down now it's it's touching the uh, top of the trees um, we are at ISO 64 f11 and that is 200th of a second lovely reflection again on the water yeah uh, my apologies for the photographs guys they're all going to be the same um, although I'm zooming in on some and zooming in on others they're all going to be the same photograph so yeah just tell me which one you like best okay thanks so I said earlier I'll wait for those clouds to move a bit more over they just don't seem to be moving the wind is blowing I think towards me but the clouds are just staying exactly where they are the whole time um, yeah but what a fantastic sun show again um, I, I don't think it's quite on a par with last night if I'm honest uh, but the photographs will look fantastic the the top of the, or the sorry the bottom of the clouds um, are now turning orange um, as the sun sets that light is spreading just beautifully um, and it, the reflection on the on the water um, is getting brighter although it is somewhat more diminished than it was yeah so um, ISO 64 f14 one hundredth of a second two second timer again just capture that yeah that's fantastic and what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit of video for you guys so um, excuse me yeah so yeah it's the first time I've used video on the Z8 um, just so we can see a little bit of that looks fantastic I have to say it looks really really good okay touch a bit okay so the clouds are moving so what I did was I've moved the camera and I've taken a photograph of the clouds with the sun setting what a beautiful sky guys beautiful beautiful sky as that sun goes down it's predominantly orange and um, it just looks wonderful um, yeah take another one okay I'll share that one so the sun's gone um, the sun has gone it's you can just just see the tip of the sun or the top of the sun and um, that that red light is now going to start to spread out across the sky and it's going to look magnificent shortly um, so we've got some fantastic um, clouds on the right hand side they look like they're they're in a long exposure photograph you know when it looks like it's dragging its way um, yeah fantastic sky already and the, the sun is now emitting rays you can see the the rays as they come back up as they you know the last bits of light let's see if I can capture that so yeah look at that I don't know if it's gonna capture it guys but yeah ISO 64 f14 1 50th of a second yeah looks nice I did think of putting a filter on the camera but I don't want to do that I just don't feel the need to do that at this particular time so yeah all right I'll share that one thanks oh and here come the military police ah all right thanks guys thought they were going to tell me to move on <laughs> but as as that sun is going down I've just turned behind me and um the moon is there huge huge moon sort of peering its head between the branches of these trees behind me here and the clouds behind that they're red um, so there is definitely light red light being um, dispersed and it, it's actually catching it on these clouds over here but um, yeah not a great deal we'll give it we'll give it a couple more minutes and we'll see what we can capture before we go like I said guys I'm sorry about the, the photographs they are um, exactly what I said they are photographs of sorry I don't know if that's focusing now just bear me um, they are photographs um, of Porchester Castle they're all pretty much the same photograph just different light hopefully and um, yeah I won't share too many of them um, I'll put most of them on the website don't forget guys there is a website www.baker.uk.com will take you to the domain name which is uh, paulwbaker.photography but baker.uk.com is acting as a forwarder to the website um, yeah and um, I'll put I'll put the majority of them up on the website um, but yeah that moon's magnificent 
Um, yeah, so um, I think I should end it here really. Um, there is no more light, it's gone, it's gone. Um, the clouds look fantastic, but other than that, there is nothing. So yeah, I'll end it here. Thanks ever so much for watching again. My apologies, it didn't quite turn out as I wanted it to, but then not really does. Um, nothing really does on my journeys, does it? Um, I will continue the search for the bag. I will continue to go out and hopefully we will get further journeys. Um, we are going to Scotland in, oh, I don't know, I, th I think it's about a week Monday. Um, going to, up to Scotland, we're going to the Edinburgh side. Um, um, yeah, gonna do some more photography around there. Fantastic, I can't, I can't wait. Um, and then, um, yeah, from there, hopefully, Steve Stain, myself, Colin, um, Darren, um, D Daz, and all, and all the other guys from um, some point in one will all get a meet up. There'll be meets um, where we all like to say hello and. I've not been on one yet, if I'm honest. I'm too, I'm too lazy and too old. But um, yeah, hopefully um, we'll get one of those up together soon and we can all meet up and please pop along if you'd like to do that. Bring your cameras along or not. If you don't bring your camera, then bring a beer and I'm sure you'll be welcome by all. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I wish you well, guys. Um, yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe and please, please, please follow. Thanks guys, see you next time.